My name is Joachim, uh, work in IT here in Rotterdam. Uh, besides that, I do uh, social marketing in Why Not 3 and in my free time I play basketball. Originally I'm from Finland, I lived there for the first 18 years and for the past four and a half years I've been living in the Netherlands. A very kind of decisive time in my life was uh, right after high school when I served in Finnish military service which is mandatory in Finland. I decided to serve in the kind of eastern border between Finland and Russia. And it was in the beginning very this kind of, um, I was fighting against it because it was, it was taking my freedom away. But whenever I got the right mindset to it, I realized how much it could gain and the opportunities and the situation it could actually put me in, which which couldn't be offered in any kind of other organization or job at that point of your life. Learning something new every day, and especially for myself, for my own self, and that I could actually pull it off. It regained that kind of trust in myself, my own skills, and what could I do. I felt that I was uh, losing my track or my compass where I actually wanted to get to, uh, which it's my passion towards education and development. I love giving trainings, I love staying track on things, I love speaking to people. And Why Not 3 itself, I felt from the very first point, it was giving so much that I wanted to be part of this very active group. I stand for honesty, I stand for hard working, because I didn't feel I was talented, so I really had to work hard. We are giving a lot of freedom. There is no real hierarchy level within the group. We are a few people. Uh, it feels like we're more like friends than actually co-workers. So it definitely helps and it helps with the honesty. I think the biggest issue in bigger companies is that people are not honest to each other on um, being able to tell what's bothering them because they're afraid of their hierarchy or their position. Uh, it's not the same here. I've seen people in positions abusing their own power and their position where they were uh, without really deserving deserving that. That almost makes me sick from the stomach of, of, of uh, being able to do that and nobody actually standing against that. Why not three help me of, of tracking my own skills, actually putting them on test, seeing what I'm lacking, seeing what I have and, and really supporting um, what I want to do. And I noticed that if, if I put even the, the smallest number of hours from the working hours I put in my company to something I'm really passionate about, something I really believe in, um, that's, you, you can do so much. I try to find the good things out of any situation. So whatever that person has a problem, I'll try to flip it outside, upside down, what they can gain from that problem what they can use in an experience or opportunity, what they can actually gain from that problem or challenge. Because whenever there was a person who was actually successful without any job or any kind of struggle before that, nobody.